Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video sponsored by FanDuel. Today we're bringing you the April high-end and platinum edition of the Boombox. And I'm pretty excited about this because we're doing them both in the same video. This is the first time that I've ever combined both of these into one video, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, we've got a couple announcements that I've noticed looking at the Boombox's website. And we have a world premiere, at least maybe it's, it's a channel premiere for sure, of the brand new Elite Boombox. This is a $260 box. We've never done this before. And we're going to be taking a look at it for the very first time. That is going to be on Sunday. So make sure you check it out on Sunday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tap the bell. Turn those post notifications to all. So whenever I post a video or go live, you'll get a little notification in the YouTube app. So mark your calendar for Sunday to check out this $260 boom box. So let's start with the appetizers, so to speak, to that $260 boom box. We have the high-end edition and the platinum edition right here. Now, the high-end edition is $89.99. I just checked out their website because I want to do a little bit of research on that Elite Baseball uh, box. And also have the platinum one, which is $139.99. Now, that is a price increase from the past. I believe the platinum one used to be about $100, and the high-end one used to be about $60. So they're both up about $30 or so. And that's no surprise, guys, because let me tell you, I've told you before, everything has basically doubled in price. You guys have seen it. I've seen it. Um, stuff like Inception, you used to be able to buy it last year when it first came out for like $70 a box. Now it's like a hundred and whatever dollars a box. Um, everything is almost doubled in price. So lots of price increases across the board. And to, I guess what the Boombox has done to keep bringing you the same amount of packs every month, they had to either raise their prices or cut the amount of packs and keep the price the same. That's what they're faced with. So I guess they want to keep the quality the same and uh, they just raised their prices a little bit. And uh, that's in line with everything else going on in this crazy, crazy hobby. So let's start with the high-end boom box right here. This is uh, high-end. It is $89.99 per box. We'll put that on there so, just so you know. And the platinum baseball one is $139.99. Per box. If you'd like to pick up a box, you can head on over to the Boombox website and pick that up. So let's go ahead and check this out and see what we can find. High end is up first. Let's see what we've got. So, first, we'll take a look at our packs. We'll move the packing peanuts off to the side, which I always recycle these, by the way. I'll put them to use in my $51 tier. And here's our pack. So, we've got a 2015. Bowman draft, which you've seen before. There's a 2021 hobby pack of Series 1. We've got a 2020 hobby pack of Heritage. We've got a hobby pack of Alan and Ginter. A hobby pack of Stadium Club, which we haven't seen in a couple months in a boom box. And we've got a Chrome pack, a very nice one right there, of 2020 Bowman Chrome. This is uh, one of the big reasons, again, including this pack. These boxes have been off the charts. It's going crazy. 2020 Tops Chrome and Gypsy Queen. So we've got a grand total of uh, eight packs in here. Let's get to ripping this. Again, this is the $89.99 box. About $90 for this. Here is the sell sheet for April. You can see the best hit odds are for the Bowman Chrome pack, which will save that for last. They have all of their... Um, social media links right there, and they are having a promotion right now for Zach Wheeler, a pair of muddy cleats, and he's been off to a good start. Also, there is a screw down uh, holder in there as well. So let's go ahead and see what we can find. We'll start off with, I usually start off with the uh, 2015 or 2014 Bowman drafts. So let's go ahead and get, look at that, Ryan Mountcastle first as the very first card. That's something to get excited about. Ryan Mountcastle, of course, as you know, the uh, you know one of the top two or three rookies in the 2021 class. That's going in the... I'll just leave that on the screen. If we don't get an autograph, that's probably going to be the best hit. Nice one right there. Batting cleanup a lot of the time for the Baltimore Orioles. Tyrone Taylor and Kyle Crick, former giant who came over in the Andrew McCutcheon trade along with Brian Reynolds. Kyle Crick hasn't really done much for us, but um, I don't know. He, at least he's a pirate if you're a Pirates fan. Let's go ahead next and do Allen and Ginter for those of you that like Allen and Ginter. And then right after this, we're going to go right into the $140 boom box, the Platinum Baseball Edition, and check out the packs in there. So 
Nothing crazy in there. One good thing, though, no weirdo cards. All baseball cards in that pack of Allen and Ginter. We'll do our Series 1 pack next. The tops. Hopefully you're not too tired of 2021 top Series 1 just yet. There's Amir Garrett and DJ LeMayhew. Roberto Perez, Chris Bubik rookie card. And we've got a Bo Burrows for a second. Every time I see that card, I'm hoping that it's a Casey Mize. Aaron Judge, I'd love to see him stay healthy for a full season. Mike Yastrzemski, we've got Garrett Richards, Jacob DeGrom, who looks like, um, I don't know, he's my, to Jacob DeGrom, he's my pick to win the Cy Young Award this year. Ever since I saw him at that game in spring training throwing 102, I was like, yep, he's going to be tough to beat. All right, let's do our Heritage Pack. This is a 2020 hobby pack of Heritage. And let's see if we can find anything decent in here. There's Craig Kimbrell, who, by the way, I don't know why I, I've noticed this. He's listed at six feet tall, but Craig Kimbrell's probably like five foot six. I saw a picture of him today standing next to Mookie Betts, and he was like a, a clear inch shorter than Mookie Betts. And as you know, Mookie Betts is five seven. I don't know, just something that I noticed. I was like, all right, I didn't know Craig Kimbrell's that short. Let's go ahead and check out the Gypsy Queen pack and see what we can find in this one. Good old Gypsy Queen, always a fun rip. We've got Trey Mancini leading things off. A Brad Keller rookie card. Shohei Otani on the front of the pack. His cards have been hot again after his spring training. Another guy that was hot in spring training was Kevin Newman. Hit 606 in the spring training. That's his rookie card. Not quite hitting 606 anymore, but um, we'll have to see if he can put up big time batting average numbers. This season might be one of the few bright spots with the Buccos, who as of. Uh, Yesterday, uh, they're what one in five right now, or one in six. Only one of their first game of the season, but I guess that's okay because uh, I've been going on sportsbook on FanDuel and going against them every single day, and it's been working out for me there. All right, so here's our stadium club pack. There's a Kwan Young Kim. There's Matt Olson. We've got Tony Gwynn, Justin Turner. We've got David Wright. Can we find an autograph? We will get a Matt Chapman. That is a black and white parallel. JV, Justin Verlander, and Yasmani Grandal is the last card right there. Let's check out our, oh, I guess I'll go with the Bowman Chrome Pack last. We'll do our 2020 Tops Chrome Pack right now. We've got the Machine, Albert Pujols, Tyler Glass now, one of my favorites, Austin Riley, and Max Kepler. So still no autograph. The best card is still that Mount Castle in the number one position. Here we go. Let's wrap things up with Bowman Chrome. Then we'll get into this bad boy, the 140 Platinum Baseball Edition. There's Willie Calhoun. We've got a Sam Huff, nice atomic refractor, and that will do it. So the best card in the box was Brian Mountcastle. Unfortunately, no autographs or relics despite the hobby packs, but that just means maybe we will get lucky in this one. So let's move on right now and do the $140 box, $139.99. You can kind of get a look at both of these. And if you're thinking about picking up one of them, maybe that will help make your decision for you. Either if you buy the high end, the platinum, or none at all. And then we'll get into the, uh, the I think, honestly, I'm going to film the Elite Baseball one right now because I'm so excited about it. And I'm just not going to upload it until Sunday. So let's check out the Platinum Boom Box next and see what we can find. On the top, I see a nice fat pack of some sort. Let's check it out. It is a 2021 Topps fat pack. Let's get all these packs out. I guess we'll just pull them out of the pack one or box one at a time. We've got a high number hobby pack. We've got a 2018 Bowman hobby pack. Looking for Luis Robert first out of there. We've got a Bowman pack, which by the way, Bowman's been delayed now until I think April 28th. We've got Bowman's Best, which is a nice one. Bowman Chrome once again. We'll see if we can hit one out of there. A Topps Chrome 2020 pack. And look at this. That's a good pack right there, folks. As you may know, I talked about it when um, I was opening that in the random uh, pack opening video that I did recently. That's a jumbo pack of 2020 Topps Chrome. And box of those are like $600. I think a pack of those runs at like 50 bucks a pack. So very nice uh addition right there and you know that's why these are going up in price because uh, all the packs all the boxes are going up so let's check out what they're including in this month you can see all the hit odds are right there so really good hit odds so we didn't get an autograph in our first box of the day um but you know we only had one pack with super high hit odds that was bowman chrome 
which is one in six. Now we have someone with a very, very good hit odds, one in three, one in three and a third. So I'm expecting to get a hit out of this one. Again, they have that Zach Wheeler pair of muddy cleats. And coming soon, Baseball Elite, that's the uh, the world premiere, or at least channel premiere. I don't know if anyone else has opened it yet on Sunday. So we've got our one touch. I'll be putting that aside and to use that in one of our breaks. Let's go ahead and start things off with Heritage High number from 2020 to see what we can find. Looking for Luis Robert. There's Jeff Hoffman. Edwin Rios. Scott Heineman. Rookie card. Corey Kluber and his Texas Uni. Jose Martinez. Jeff Mathis. Yasiel Puig and Patrick Wisdom. So high number, not the greatest set out there, as you know by now. So uh, honestly, I think next I'm doing this, this uh, jumbo of top series one because there's a lot of other great packs that I'd like to save for toward the end. we got good hit odds in here, and uh, we're not going to have a relic, so we our odds have automatically shifted to 1 in 8 for an autograph. No relic, it looks like, in here. We've got Bieber. We've got Matthew Boyd. There's a league leader card of Luke Voigt. Bruce Star Gratterall. There's Andres Jimenez, who's now over on the, um, the Indians as part of the trade for... Frankie Lindor, Nico Horner, David Peterson. We've got an Anderson Tejeda rookie card. Miles Michaelis, J.D. Martinez. Uh, let's see what else we've got. Trey Turner, Rainbow Foil. We are going to have an autograph. Look at this. It is a Lance McCullers Jr. Very, very nice one right there. Lance McCullers Jr. is the hit. So we do get an autograph. I was feeling like we would. We'll put that right there. See if anything can... Uh, be worthy enough to join it on the screen as the top card of this box, Lance McCullers Jr. There's Nate Pearson rookie card. Let's see if we can find one of the big rookies in this. Uh, man, I never really noticed. Dylan Bundy looks like a garbage pail kid in that picture. Why have I never noticed that uh, picture before? We've got Mitch Hanniger and um, Corey Seeger, Marcus Semyon. Mike Miner, there's Walker Bueller, and it looks like the rest of the pack, nothing crazy going on. So McCullers gets us started off early in this box on good footing. Now I'm going to do the Bowman 2020 pack, see if we can find some good stuff in here. Like I said, Bowman 2021 is delayed a little bit. Looks like it's been pushed back a couple weeks. There's Trent Grisham, so it's probably not going to be out till the end of April. Nick Madrigal, one of the top rookies. Hey, a first of Jason Dominguez. Very nice. Honestly, I've pulled this card in enough times. I don't think I have one for my own PC yet. So that one is going to go in the old PC. Jason Dominguez will put that aside and see uh, what happens with him. There's Casey Mize and Jose Altuve. Next pack up. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the Luis Robert first Bowman to go with the Jason Dominguez. Right now, I see a Christian Pache on the back. And that's his first. So very nice. A Christian Pache first. We're having some good luck with some good rookie cards from this boombox. Or first, Bowman's. There's a Pedro Avila, Reese Hoskins rookie card. Cornelius Randolph, Mirandi Gonzalez, and Thomas Hatch to round out that pack. All right, let's see what else we've got. How about we do, I think Bowman's best may have the best odds, but... Let's go ahead and do it. Bowman's best. What are the odds for Bowman's best? One in three. Yes, this is the best hit odds. Max Meyer to lead things off. Max Scherzer gave up like four dingers in his first star, I think. There's Anthony Rendon and Zach Gallon. So we do not get a hit. There's a Joey Bart. Nice one as well. Let's go ahead and do our tops chrome. We've got a hobby and a jumbo pack. So good shot at some nice cards. And then we start off with a nice one. There's Mike Trout. Austin Meadows, Nico Horner, 1985 style rookie card, and Zach Collins is the last one there as well. Let's check out our jumbo pack and see if we can get something good out of this. We've got Trey Mancini as our first card. Hey, we got Randy, Randy Rosarena. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm putting these cards aside for my own PC. I, I got to get the good ones on the screen. We got Dominguez, we got Pache, we got Randy Rosarena right there. So, I'm getting some good stuff so far. And Kyle Garlic, we have our second autograph. I don't know what uh, dialect that was. We have our second autograph. It's Kyle Garlic. So a nice one right there. A Kyle Garlic on-card rookie auto. So a nice pack. The jumbo packs are really nice because there's five autographs per box and 12 packs. So your chances of finding a hit 
in uh, the jumbo packs of uh, Topps Chrome. Really, really good. And now we're going to finish things off right now with a 2020 Bowman Chrome pack and see what we can find in here. We've got Ronald Acuna Jr. We've got Aristides Aquino. And another. It's a Ryan Pepio out of 499. First Bowman from the Dodgers. Jeremiah Jackson and Tanner Houck, who's got some crazy stuff. I was watching him pitch the other day. His breaking ball goes from one side of the plate to the other. Nice one right there, Tanner Houck. So we got a pretty darn good box there in the Platinum Edition. Three autographs and uh, some really great rookie and first Bowman cards from the box. So, uh, guys, let me know what you think about uh, this month's April edition of the Boom Box. You can talk about the best cards in there. You can talk about the price increases, which, you know, to be fair, look at the packs they put in. There was a great packs in there, and like I said, everything's going up. Um, so that'll do it. Looking forward to Elite Baseball. This will be released on Sunday. It's a $260 box. Uh, honestly, I think that's the most expensive um, subscription box that I have ever opened. So I'm really looking forward to that. Again, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the thumbs up button. Make sure you check us out on FanDuel or at least sign up for FanDuel using my code down in the description. Go there, complete your registration, put a few bucks in your account from PayPal or your credit card and you know try a fantasy baseball game or so. Well, if you do that, then I get credit for the sign up and uh, maybe they will extend their uh, partnership with me beyond April. So that'll do it for today. I hope you guys have a great weekend watching some baseball games, uh, hanging out, doing whatever you like to do. And check us out tomorrow for the Saturday showdown with the super high-end Topps Definitive. It's $2,000 a box for eight cards. It'll be really fun. And then Sunday, we'll have the Elite Baseball and also a live stream of 2021 Topps Tribute. So lots of great stuff coming up. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.